Welcome from the home of the New York Mets, City Field in Queens. We bring you Friday baseball on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies going up against the New York Mets. One down. Now at the plate, Jay Mack. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. In comes the first run of the game. It's 1-0 Mets. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. That extends his hitting streak to an even dozen, Singy. Do opposing pitchers start to take notice when a guy is on a roll like this? Yeah, I think so, Boog. It's not like it changes the scouting report on a guy or anything like that too much, but you're aware of who's swinging the hottest bat, and that's definitely him right now. One out, cool. runner at second. The first and next for the Mets, Pete Alonzo. Oh, Matt, one, the runner at second with one away. And ball four, two aboard. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Batting big. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Jake Berger. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Swing and a miss struck him out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Two on, two outs, and they're all loaded up. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out three bases at this rate. Two outs. And that one lifted in the air center field. Brings it in for the third out. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We go on to inning number two. It's the Mets one and the Rockies nothing. Up next for the Mets. Part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And now it's the polar the bear, Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Hard hit, right side. Steps on first for the out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. In the air, out towards left center. That's a base hit as a run scores. Comes through with the RBI. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders. Out of the, the fourth. Run. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Brendan Rodgers. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Mack calls it in, and there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit now and popped it up. Catch it. Bottom of the inning. Now the batter now, Jay Mack. Leading up for the Mack. The Mack measures yeah. six feet, two inches. Mack. Only 18 years old. And he's This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. 
Bryant falls it in, and there's one away. So one out, nobody on. Jay Mack up now for the Mets. Mack. Liner, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Here's Pete Alonso. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And two away now. So two down. Jake Berger up now for the Mets. Berger. On the ground to short. Tobar. In plenty of time to first, and that's the third out. Mets leave one, but they still lead this one four to two. Matt was outstanding in this ball game, helping them get the win. Three hits in this one, always respectable. Well, Boo can't say enough about what he did for him in this one. He's a big reason they got the W, and it's easy to see why he's a key contributor for him.